Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going over an updated version of a thing that I have built before. It's an automated shuttle refueling station that comes in pretty handy. And this one has a built-in Usagi feeder. Usagi is the gelastropod that shows treasure locations on your compass. And you can have it anywhere on the planet, as long as it's fed and it'll still work. So I put it on my shuttle. Uh, first you start with an XL sensor hoop B. If you're using the original landing pad, you just kind of plop it in the middle and expand it and lock it. Uh, otherwise, the, build, the uh, buildable landing pad, you can have a little more control. So you'll see where I put the Usagi right there, and the, the slot next to it is open. I use that for a spare hydrazine, as you'll see here. And you'll see I leave a, a couple slots open on the hydrazine thruster, and I put medium silos down real low on an, a, a large silo B, so you can see that nothing's being placed where it shouldn't be. So once you place the shuttle, you hook up the sensor hoop, and any of those pins will, will work, I'm pretty sure, on that sensor hoop. And you'll see here I've dug out below and to the side or behind the uh, landing pad placed a couple of auto arms. There's really no exact science. I just kind of messed with it until it worked. Uh, there might be a way to make that easier, but uh, it just kind of, yeah, you just kind of, it's trial, trial and error, I guess. So you'll see this delay repeater array. Most of them are set to full delay, except for a couple are set to 10. This also isn't an exact science. I just tried to set it up uh, so that everything kind of happens when I want it to. If you just leave the auto arms on, then when you get out of the shuttle after landing, the auto arms will start handing you th things in your backpack, which you don't want to happen. So I've set it up in such a way that when you get out of the shuttle, there's a delay before the auto arms get turned on, which gives you ample time to get away. Then the hydrazine will go off first, followed by the uh, mutant hispine seeds that will be given to Usagi. So here you'll see there was a delay. Hydrazine auto arm is dishing out hydrazine everywhere it needs it and only where it needs it. And once that's done, just the timer is such that uh, after that happens, the uh, mutant hispine gets placed on Usagi. If it needs two seeds, it'll give it two. And after that, it, it, they both get turned off. And you can move around freely without worrying about anything getting placed into your backpack. So it's all fully, no worries, hands-off automated. And you'll see here, I'm just showing that the uh, those silos don't have any items on them. Because you don't want those auto arms placing anything there. And so there we go. That'll do it. Hopefully that helps. It sure helped me a lot. And uh, have a great day.